Hi, my name is Albert with Mainland Cycle Center. Today I want to show you a 2014 Kawasaki Ninja 300 ABS White Special Edition. Uh, great looking bike. Uh, new color for 2014. This is the ABS model. ABS is Anti-Lock Brake System. For those who don't know what ABS stands for. But uh, Anti-Lock Brake System, which means that you can't lock up the brakes. Uh, which is a, a good thing. It's especially good for new riders, so it's great that we have that on the Ninja 300. You know, ABS is really going to be uh, standard here in just a few years. All of the bikes on the market are going to have ABS uh, in just the near future. So, uh, it's a good thing. There's no negative to it. We still hear a few people sometimes that think there's something wrong with ABS, and there really isn't. You have uh, full braking. Uh, only difference is you're not going to lock up the tires which is really good in a panic situation. So ABS is a good thing. This bike has ABS, and I would recommend it for any new rider. So the Ninja 300, twin cylinder, and that's important because uh, some of the competitors to this bike on the market are a single cylinder motor. The twin cylinder has two power pulses with those two pistons and uh, really has great performance. Uh, they made Kawasaki made quite a few changes to this bike when they went from the uh, Ninja 250 to the 300 and the, uh, the 300 has a lot better low end power of course it looks fantastic um, and uh, and just his bike has really done well uh, it, against its competition as a matter of fact there was just a, uh, a shootout between the Ninja 300 and the Honda CBR 500 in uh, I think it was the August 2013 issue of Sport Rider magazine where the uh, the people who tested the bike, the different riders, actually chose the Ninja 300 over the CBR 500. Said that it just was more fun to ride, handled fantastic, and uh, was their pick of those two bikes, of which bike they would get. And so, uh, anyway, great read. If you uh, haven't seen that, check it out. But uh, just a really great bike. Of course, fuel injection, liquid cooling. Uh, you've got disc brakes front and rear with a twin piston caliper got the uh, pedal style rotors which just means that you've got these cuts in the rotor so those cuts the holes all of this stuff uh, not only reduces some weight but it also provides more surface area to dissipate heat uh, there's a look inside your motor your radiator exhaust pipes there those are now fatter than they were on the 250s these also have a spin on oil filter that the Ninja 250s didn't have uh, flush mount turn signals in the front clear lenses in the back Uh, this bike has a little tank pad on it from the factory. That's nice. Uh, instrumentation is really nice. You've got an analog tachometer with a digital readout for speedometer, uh, fuel gauge, clock, that kind of business. Uh, really easy clutch. These have the new uh, clutch from FCC. FCC is the company that uh, patented or designed the clutch. But uh, it uh, only has three clutch springs. It's a slipper clutch. And so basically it has a cam system that uh, on acceleration it pushes the plates together so you don't need as many springs. So this clutch pull is very, very light and uh, extremely light. You'll be amazed. And then, uh, and then that same cam system that draws the clutches together on acceleration makes them spread on deceleration to give you a slipper clutch. On hard decel, I should say. But uh, just really fantastic, that new FCC clutch. We're using that on a lot of products now. Uh, great looking paint on this bike. It's kind of a metallic white, so it's not the pearl white that uh, maybe we've seen in the past, but it's kind of a metallic white or like white diamonds. I don't know what the actual color. Stardust white, I think, may be the color, but uh, anyway, it's beautiful. And uh, But a good size windshield, good mirrors. Uh, anyway, just a great bike. If uh, this is going to be your first bike, it's a fun bike to ride. It's a fun bike to ride if you're an experienced rider. And uh, Ninja 300. All right, we are Mainland Cycle Center. We're located in Lamarck, Texas. Uh, we're about 30 minutes outside of downtown Houston on the Texas Gulf Coast, just off of I-45. Uh, you can find us online at MainlandCycleCenter.com. You can give us a call at 409-948-4969. Uh, give us a call, shoot us an email, or even better, come by and see us in person here at Mainland Cycle Center where we would love to help just any way that we can. Hey, thanks for watching.